If you're into 3D printing, you're more than likely familiar with Bamboo Lab and their amazing 3D printers. This is the Bamboo Lab P1P, the most affordable Core XY 3D printer that they offer, coming in at $599. When I reviewed this over a year ago now, one of the most annoying things that I found with this machine, and it's still an annoyance today, is the control panel on the front of the machine. It's just kind of wonky to work with at times and doesn't display all the information that I'd like it to. One other way that they've made this so affordable and cheap is by not including the side panels or a door or a top to this 3D printer. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at two different products when paired together might be the ultimate combination add-on option for your Bamboo Lab P1P. And I also think it has the added benefit of being cheaper or maybe about the same price as the official Bamboo Lab enclosure kit. And those two products are the Big Tree Tech Panda Touch that I'll be assembling and testing out and the Wham Bam P1P Hotbox, which is specifically designed to help fully enclose the P1P as well as give you a few other little perks there by using the hot box. And additionally, I'll be showing off some of the things that Wham Bam sent along that's inside this box. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I'm assuming it's some goodies that work with our Bamboo Lab 3D printers or some of the other machines that are in my office. All right, so first things, let's, uh, let's get the hot box out of here. The first time I saw the hot box was actually at the East Coast Rep Rep Fest last fall, and I'm excited to see this out in the wild now, um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna be a case that I believe just, yeah, it's all it's all held together by zippers and insulated here as well, so it's gonna help retain any of the heat that you're gonna be working with. Lots of different openings here, so in the back for the, uh, for the poop chute that you have. Also, if you wanted the, I think it's like a, an exhaust fan in the back or the power supply there in that section. There's also a vent system here on the side as well, so if you needed to hook this up to some sort of a ventilation system, you have access to do that as well. <laughs> so this just all zips together here to form this insulated box for you to work with. Ta-da! Oh man, that's working really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. I didn't even have to unscrew the spool holder in the back, just loosened up one of the zippers, slid it on over, and it was in there. One of the other cool things that I'm liking about this is I thought I was gonna have to unzip this front to like as a flap to, to get it up. You, no, you, you don't even have to do that at all. This is just magnetically held in place. So anytime that you wanna get in here and open this, you can. You can directly see into it as well. This is a nice, solid top, hold on, hold on. I know, I know, this isn't, <laughs> this isn't the right AMS system. <laughs> but I wanted to see, it's holding it, it's holding it fine. I'm gonna grab the actual AMS unit and I'll get some B-roll here and have it up on screen of what it looks like on top of the hot box, but it should be able to hold it just fine. I'm loving the tool holders on the side here, including some little slots here. So if I wanted to put the pair of snippers in here and hold those so I'm not constantly losing them, it's a great place to hold some of the extra tools that you might have. On the back, you have the opening for the power supply and the on off switch. There's also, this here, so if you're running that, that, I think it's like the filtration system. I don't know, I'm not using it. I have the bare basic P1P here. Uh, also, it has space for your poop chute to go on the back there. So if you got your poop coming out, there are 3D printable mods already that they've made for this as well for a bunch of different things. And then the next one that we'll be focusing on here is installing the Panda Touch directly into the opening up top here. So it should sit very nicely Right, like directly on top of where this opening is. All right, before I do the, the touch install, my curiosity's got the best of me here. I wanna see what's inside this box that they sent along. This is also a great time to mention that Wham Bam's sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in more information about the hot box or anything that I'm about to take out of the box here, you can find the links to those down below. By the way, they just let me know here that I've got a code here, UJ2022, which gives you 15% discount on basically anything on their site. I also love that they included this note here saying, hope you enjoy this goodie box and can tear you away from your VR headset for a few minutes for some boring old 3D printing. <laughs> 
They sent me their new nozzle kit. This is a maintenance kit option that includes a whole bunch of tools. What I'm really excited about for this is it has the little plungers. I don't know what the technical term is there. The nozzle cleaners, there's two different diameters of those to help purge out any filament that you might have stuck in your extruder, as well as the, uh, the, the specifically designed wrenches for removing your nozzles and replacing those because I am constantly misplacing things. More than likely those will be sticking right here on the side of the hot box. They also sent me along some mini slap mats. Uh, these are perfect for anybody that's wanting to do any small projects or maintenance, or if you're wanting to use something that's just like a silicone pad for painting your projects, these are awesome. Add on options to your orders. He actually, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is the uh, XTR, this is the powder coated build plate surface. It very closely matches with what the P1S ships with and their gold build plate surface. This should be a much added improvement over the standard build plate that the P1P comes with, which works okay, but it's not great. It's not the best for adhesion. I definitely have parts that peel away from this build plate. Excited to check this one out. They also sent along their smooth PEX sheet build plate. Again, gonna run perfectly here in the P1P, but they also passed on, I believe the same variations here and specifically highlighting, this is for my K1 Max 3D printer because I have been having nonstop issues with the build plate surface that comes with the standard K1 Max. It's like hit or miss with anything sticking to that build plate. So excited to test these out as well. These are their little cloud fire system solutions here that go on, uh, like either above or with your 3D printer. So here, this has a Velcro piece and I believe on the inside of the hot box here, there is, there's a Velcro patch on the inside of the P1P that I can stick this directly in and it's not gonna bump up into the build plate as it's lowering or raising or printing or anything like that. And if there is ever any sort of fire that breaks out, this will automatically diffuse that. Additionally, if you're planning on still printing with your A1 that has been since recalled because of fire hazard issues, I'd recommend printing this mod attachment for the cloud system here. This will then snap onto the top of the build plate. You can add some Velcro adhesive and this is gonna stick directly in place above the A1. Also, they sent along what might be one of my favorite Wham Bam products that they sell, and this is... This is the Mega Slap Mat. This thing is just awesome for any of your resin 3D printing, cleaning up resin 3D prints, or when it comes to painting anything for your 3D prints, having something large like this to work with is so cool to work. Now let's get that Panda Touch installed. Inside the box, you're gonna find everything that you're gonna need for this installation process, and it is very straightforward. The very first step is gonna be screwing the charging dock into the mounting bracket, then you can remove the adhesive strip on the mounting dock and get that positioned on top of the P1P directly behind that screen. It does recommend that you wait a full 12 hours. However, we're gonna be proceeding with a little bit of caution. In the back of your P1P, there might be some foam covering the USB port. We're gonna use that to plug in the included cable and then route that through the top opening directly into the back of that charging dock. We're also gonna flip the touch screen into the DC input mode before magnetically attaching it. And this is looking really good. And now that I've got it installed, I just need to flip on the power and continue with the on-screen setup process. Also, I'm loving that it has a guided walkthrough directly on the touch screen, and it's pretty responsive. I'm seriously loving this touch screen upgrade. This is just like using the touch screen found on the X1 series of bamboo printers. And I've got one last thing that I need to do, which is get this hot box back on here with the touch screen in place, which should, fingers crossed, fit right through that opening. Ta-da! This new combo setup is the perfect option that's gonna fit a lot of my needs by now having a fully enclosed P1P as well as a better control system option thanks to the Panda Touch. If you're interested in more information about any of the products that I've listed and talked about in today's video, you'll find links to those down below. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings, which, you know, I don't really typically do Bamboo Lab stuff because I just use the defaults that's in Bamboo Studio, but for my other printers, I definitely do, like my resin 3D printers or my FDM 3D printers. Uh, you'll find those over on my Patreon. I just want to say thanks again for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Also, the this right here is so handy. Having a way to just store some tools that I readily use on the side of the machine. Awesome idea. Awesome idea.